New information tonight. Some parents in Madison are not fans of possibly paying more in property taxes to fund the construction of new schools in the Madison City School District. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Demetria McClinton. Way 31's Cody Fisher was at the district's community meeting tonight. He learned why some parents are skeptical. Dan and Dimitri, the district wants to build a new elementary school and a new middle school because they say schools like Horizon Elementary School are crowded throughout the district and will continue to be overcrowded into the future. And they also want to add on additions to both high schools in the district to deal with that overcrowding. Now, to pay for that, your property taxes could go up $120 a year per every $100,000 your house is worth. I'm kind of a personal finance guy when I hear the, you know, it's just a little bit of money right now, a couple hundred dollars. I, to me, that's a lot of money when I need it later on. Um, and it's not clear to me that it's needed. Kurt Harris and his family moved to Madison last spring. He understands the need to fund education, but does not like adding $120 a year to his property taxes when he already pays $600 in property taxes for every $100,000 his house is worth. They want to raise taxes 21%, I think, property tax. That seems like a lot. Um, it's hard for me to stomach doing that permanently. As far as we can see forward, if we build schools uh, for between 100 and 200 million dollars, this district's going to need it. And, uh, and we can look and see that uh, the, the 11 mills that we put on in 1995, not only do we still need those 11 mills, but we need the additional 12 mills. Carl Lauderdale is a parent who does not mind paying more in property taxes to help expand the district. He just has doubts about whether or not the 12 mills the district is requesting from the public will be enough. It's hard for me to gauge as a taxpayer, as a parent, um, uh, but we definitely don't, as, as a taxpayer, I don't like being, you know, every four or five years coming back and saying, hey, uh, could you add a new tax uh, or could you give us more money? The district says they and the growth committee went over the numbers several times and determined the 12 mills would be enough. In the meantime, they are still working to convince parents like Harris that this is what is needed. Maybe 70% against. You know, I, I could be persuaded. I just, I don't have the information I need that proves it's necessary for a permanent tax increase. The proposed property tax increase would still need to be approved by the city of Madison and the state legislature. And if that does happen, then it would go to a special election sometime during the fall of the 2019 school year. And if the public approves of this increase in their property taxes, then the school district could go out to the bond market and borrow money to build these schools and pay back that borrowed money once the tax revenue starts rolling in and construction on these new schools could start sometime in the 2020 school year. Reporting live in Madison, Cody Fisher, Way 31 News.